All right, guys. So oh, right there. Today we're gonna do. Come on, you gonna go away? All right. We're gonna go ahead and do the necromancer today. Nope, not cotton. Never use your cotton unless it's for you doing heal on kill. All right. So the main thing you're gonna want to do with the build of uh, necromancer, first thing. Uh, Depending on if you're doing routine, threatening, or perilous, level 1, routine, I think you get like 3 or 4 levels, per or threatening, you get 7. Whoops, sorry about that, let me put my phone on mute. There we go. Um, and then perilous is uh, 1 to 12 on user dragon maps. Um, but first, you're going to want to go all the way down to get death siphon, which is going to be down here in the middle, and to the left. Now, after that... I always get walking bomb and upgrade that right away. And then I come up over here, get gathering storm and clean burn. Then I pop back over to the left side, upgrade your horror, get sick uh, or not sick girl, I'm very wince. So far that's what one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. So that's if you can, once you get to level 12, you have all this. Now, after you get to 14, get Fade Cloak and upgrade that. I'm going to use it for this run. Normally, I don't. Normally, I use uh, Fade Step because, uh, I have the physical immunity ammo, which means I do not get knocked over. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to pretend like I don't have it. So you got, what, four points? So uh, this is what level am I? 18. Oh, wrong button. Uh, upgrade your Winter's Chill. And definitely get Ice Armor. That leaves us with two points. Uh, Power of the Dead, because why not? You'll get more damage, 20% damage for um, each enemy you kill for 10 seconds. And then Tricks of the Trade, why not? Help, uh, help out your team a little bit. Now for your staff, whatever, obviously whatever staff's your best. Um, belt, I run a uh, <laughs> little story on the Storm Pack belts here. Buddy of mine was trying to get the Storm Packed belt for a while, so I started saving up all my Storm Packs until he got his, and he finally got it today or last night. Um, I run Belt of Staggering on all my characters because I don't need the Health Belt, I don't need the Urgency Belt, I don't need anything else. Um, but definitely if you need it, run the Health Belt. Major, major uh, benefit for you guys. Um, rings. Uh, keep an eye out for the walking bomb ring. That's going to be uh, a tremendous amount of help for the necromancer. And then your second ring, uh, either life drain ring, um, critical chance, critical damage. But for you guys, the ones that are watching, are probably newer to the game. So you guys really don't have the crit chance anyways. Um, fade cloak ring. Um, I mean, whatever rings you really have, because I'm not sure what rings you're going to have. And then, uh, stamina, or not stamina, amulet, um, sorry, I can't talk. If you have the amulet of renewal, run that, that will increase your regeneration of your mana. If you don't have that, uh, amulet of, uh, accord, which will decrease your threat. But, um, yeah, let's get into it, I'll, uh, kind of explain as I'm going, uh, kind of how to play the necromancer. Yes, it's gonna be a little bit different, because I'm not gonna be taking a lot of damage, um, there is a way to never die with the Necromancer. What I mean by that is, say, you guys go into the Sikrilum form, where you're technically dead, but you're still alive. You can, uh, what you call it, move around, attack enemies and stuff. If you, uh, throw out a walking bomb, because it, it lasts 10 seconds, so if you kind of start counting, 
and about at the, depending on your willpower level and the difficulty you're playing on, if you throw a walking bomb out at a weaker enemy, uh, by the time you technically get faded, it will kill the enemy, which will bring you up out of the fade. Or bring you up out of uh, getting down. So it really works well with, uh, with a group. What I mean by that is you can do it solo. However, if you're doing it solo, it doesn't give you enough time. Because sometimes I've had it where I went down and it said operation failed. But when that popped up, I got back up because I killed an enemy. Alright, so we got Venatori. Um, usually with these guys, you want to freeze them. And then you'll be able to damage them. Otherwise, they'll be a pain in your ass. If you uh, don't want to freeze them or you don't have it, if it's on cooldown, um, you can use your uh, horror ability. I will show that here in a second. The main thing with the necromancers, you want to get as many in a group as possible. See how they get panicked? Um, the upgrade is what's doing the damage. If you don't have the upgrade, you'll, they'll still, it's still beneficial. Freeze, everything gets frozen, then you want to walk and bomb it. Another thing with walking bombs, so when they charge like that, you're going to want to activate your Fade Cloak. I know I didn't do it right away, so I could explain it. But another reason for Fade Cloak is um, your Clean Burn. Every time you pop an ability, it uh, reduces your cooldowns by a second. See right there, you activate Fade Cloak, you don't get knocked down. All right, these are all these guys are all panicked. Let's see any gold in here? Um, you can even fade cloak when the gibbling horrors are about to uh, stun you. Uh, when you get knocked down, uh, you activate fade cloak. You get back up, and it's a reasonable. Uh, it's a reasonable um, uh, cooldown too, so it's not that long as long as you're uh, attacking. So here's the perfect time to use Walking Bomb. Get it right in the center. Uh, main thing with Walking Bomb is target the weak enemies. Like if you notice like how that archer back there is weak. Once I get Walking Bomb. Throw it on it. Necromancer is amazing for crowd control, as you guys can see here. However, she is really weak for the lower levels and the new players. That's why a lot of people don't play her, because they don't really know how to play her, because, well, they take one hit and they die, basically. There's really nothing you can do about that, to be honest with you. That just, that's just the game. You gotta get your constitution up. Come on, open up. Trying to aggro, there we go. Another good thing that you guys will like by, uh, with Fade Cloak. Oh, excuse me, is... It strips your negative effects if you're burning, panicked, uh... Well, I'm not too sure about panicked, I haven't been panicked in a while. Um, but it strips your negative effects. So if you get knocked down, obviously, you, you get set of flame. Uh, what else? Staggered, stunned, paralyzed. 
Oh, good example right there. Um, so you know how I just hit that uh, Venatori Spellbinder over here for ones, even though it's perilous. That's because they uh are res more resistant. How do I put this? Um, so they got that barrier over the top. So once I whittle that barrier down, I'll be doing my normal damage. So when it comes to Venatori, you guys are gonna want to target the Spellbinders here first. Couple reasons, because of the they're annoying. They put the glyphs down on top of giving resistances to the enemies around them. Yeah, just use Fade Cloak and it's back already. Sometimes I'll use Fade Cloak just to get my Walking Bomb to uh, get cooled down faster. So like right when it's about to be done, I'll go ahead and pop my, uh, what you call it, Fade Cloak. See right there, I just activated it and it jumped really fast. Remember, target weak enemies. Um, that another thing too, with uh, that chill defense or ice armor, I think I got. Um, try to get close to the enemies, which I know is gonna be rough because they're gonna probably be knocking you down. But if you can chill one of them or freeze them like that, and then spread it, and when you get close, it will give you. Um, I think I can double check, but it gives you eighty. Percent reduced damage, 30%. It's, it's a lot. Jump up. Jump up, grab them. This uh, zone is uh, really good for a necromancer. Couple reasons, you can um, you guys are probably gonna want to come down here. Depending on the enemy, if you get demons, they're gonna drop right here because they can't climb the ladder. But if you get oh and dark spawn, but if you get anything else, they're gonna most likely come down the ladder here. So you can just sit down here and just wait for a group of them to group up and then just throw down your walking bomb. Let me go aggro them and I'll show you that real quick. Alright, here they come. Freeze. Walking bomb. Nope, I did that a little bit too soon. If I would have waited, I could have gotten all these guys here. But see, they're literally just funneling straight down. I 
However, I'm not going to sit here for that. I'm going to go up to where I normally sit. But yeah, um, that's a really good spot for you guys to sit down there. Ooh, big group. See right there, um, you would have gotten knocked down a lot coming up the stairs. So as soon as you get up there, you're going to want to pop your fade cloak. See right here how I'm next to the chilled uh, Venatory Brew. I, I had ice armor around me. It comes in handy because when the uh, dragon, I believe, hits you, you get that as well. I, I, I know this ain't really going to be too helpful. I mean, it will be, but it won't. Because you guys won't be able to sit here and take all the damage. I'm just trying to explain how to play her. I mean, uh, I can explain to how to play her, but you guys still won't be able to play her until you get stronger, if that makes sense. Because at the end of the day, it's this game's all about your uh, constitution cunning and willpower. <clears throat> Well, and sometimes that happens, it's annoying, it just, they completely miss. And sometimes you can even, uh, fade through the, the, uh, arrows here. That way they don't hurt you. If, say, you're about to die or whatnot, you can just fade right through it. That one he was just pouring, but right there I faded through that one. Normally I go inside the guarded door there, but I can't <laughs> right now. So uh, I'll show you where else I sit. I would recommend sitting. Right over here. Yeah, you'll be able to get hit by the dragon a couple times. I've had it. It's a decent amount, but... This is the whole funneling aspect of again. And the captain's just going to go ahead and die like usual. Um, now here's something I can't show you how to deal with, but when the Venatory Mages put that glyph underneath me, normally for you guys, you guys would get, like, staggered and, and locked. Like, if you were attacking like I was, it'd kind of, like, go, like, something like this, where you just, you'd stop attacking. That's another good use for, kind of, Fade Cloak for a little bit, at least, to take out the Venatory Mages. Um, other than that, really... That or a, a quick fade cloak, then a quick uh, walking bomb would do the trick. But let's see, uh, can I aggro these guys up here? But again, you guys probably won't, won't be able to go out there like I just did there. So just usually let the, kill whatever's in front of you, and then go out there, aggro the next group, then come back. See, target the weak enemy there. Here comes a crap ton of them. 
If you can, try to let them group up. If not, I mean, I understand, because one or two hits, depending on the difficulty, might kill you. Because Necromancer, again, she is weak. Now, that 100 in the white there, I have no idea what that is. It just, it just pops up. Uh, it happens with the Duelist and the um, uh, Necromancer. I don't understand why, but it does. Sorry about that, I had to stop and get something to drink there, that's why I was just standing there. Gotta stay hydrated. Alright. Be careful doing what I just did there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You saw there was like three enemies left, so you thought it was the end of the round. However, they just spawned more in. And again, they spawned more in. I'll try to get rid of this as soon as possible. Um, otherwise, it's harder for them to funnel to you. This is a little jumpy jump. Kind of dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge from dodgeball, you guys, you know. I like to just stand here until it happens, until, like, these guys knock. Come on. There we go. Then I come all the way down here. Come on. Let me do my horror. There we go. Jeez. As soon as you see the commander, just lock on her. And just... Whittle her down. Um, you might have to use the uh, enemies around you to heal yourself. If you have heal on kill, however, with Death Siphon, you get 10% heal on kill and 20% of your, or 20, sorry, flat rate 20 of your mana back per kill. So, not sure if you guys can hear, but there's an assassin you can see to my right. Pay attention to, um, the sound. You can hear it. That way you know the assassin's gonna strike. Thank you. 
It does kind of suck with the Necromancer from time to time. It does take a little bit, especially if you're panicking and freezing at the wrong times. Like, I killed a panic enemy out there, and it spread the panic so they weren't coming to me. So here's the perfect time to freeze them. And then if you want to do freeze them, you're going to want to throw your uh, walking bomb on them. For me, I kill them when I freeze them. Otherwise, I would have shown that. But. And then. Rule number one with Necromancer, you always, always look for your contacts when you're done. Oh, so close. I'll go ahead and top that off later. Um, but I hope that helps, uh, helps you guys out. Uh, let me... It's 50% damage reduction. Now, if you pair... Here's how you can use the... Use Necromancer and other, other characters together. So... She has the ice armor. And Avar has chill defense. Which is the same thing, I believe. No, no, it's 25% resistance. However... You guys can combo that together, so the Avar can do uh, his, oop, where is it, his Hakon's Charge, chilling everything, or chilling an enemy, and then the Necromancer kills that chilled enemy to spread it, and then now the Necromancer and Avar are taking less damage. So, keep that in mind, uh, as you guys are playing, you guys can really, uh, if you have teammates, make sure you guys are working together, and coming up with, uh, kinda builds to help you, uh, help each other out, like, uh, most of my builds are kind of solo-ish, more, more built for survivable, uh, the longer you survive, the more damage you do compared to doing, being like a glass cannon type of, type of, uh, player, um, but, yeah, I really do hope that helped you guys, uh, if you, uh, if it does, let me know down below in the comments, uh, please like and, uh, like and subscribe, man. You guys enjoy the rest of your night. Uh, oh, uh, before I go, uh, the Reaver, I will be doing the Reaver uh, one probably tomorrow. Uh, this is probably going to get posted, uh, what day is This is probably going to get posted uh, the 15th, so the 16th will probably be when the Reaver one will be coming out. So keep an eye out for that, guys. Um, you guys enjoy the rest of your uh, night or day, whatever it is. Whatever it is, oh my lord, I cannot talk. Whatever it is while you are watching this video.